Welcome to a spotlight presentation about hierarchy-based image embeddings for semantic image retrieval. This research was done by the Computer Vision Group at the Friedrich Schiller University Jena and presented at the IEEE Winter Conference on Applications of Computer Vision 2019. Why should we care about semantics in image retrieval? What is usually done for content-based image retrieval is to extract image features from a convolutional neural network pre-trained for classification to capture the visual information contained in the image. This allows for comparing images with regard to their visual similarity. However, visual similarity does not always correspond to semantic similarity, as can be seen by these examples. A chihuahua and a muffin may look quite similar, but they are not semantically related at all. As humans, however, we will always see semantics in images and, consequently, compare images with respect to their semantic similarity. A caterpillar and a butterfly may not look particularly similar, but we can still think of them being similar because the caterpillar will turn into a butterfly at some point of time. Similarly, the giant panda and the lesser panda are semantically related. In the WordNet ontology, these two concepts are direct sister terms. Their visual similarity, however, is rather low. But purely relying on visual similarity can be misleading. Even more, it can be dangerous. A few years ago, Google received a large amount of negative attention because Google Photos sometimes labeled black people as gorillas. This is a typical example of visual similarity gone wrong. Their solution was to remove the gorilla class from the classifier entirely, making it incapable of ever recognizing that class again. A better solution might have been to incorporate semantic information into the learning process to separate humans from gorillas in a semantic feature space. In a semantic feature space, the Euclidean distance directly corresponds to the semantic dissimilarity of the classes. An apple and a pear might not look particularly similar, neither with respect to their shape nor their color, but both are fruits and they should hence be close together in this semantic space. A pear and a bottle, on the other hand, can sometimes look similar, but since they are not semantically related at all, they should be far apart. Many works try to learn the semantic similarity between classes based on visual information, but fortunately we do not need to. Generations of researchers have already organized the entities of the world into taxonomies, hierarchies of classes, and we can use this prior semantic knowledge to determine their pairwise similarity. Given this, we can deterministically compute optimal locations for all classes on the unit hypersphere, so that their dot product equals their semantic similarity. All that remains is to learn to map images onto these class centroids. For this, we employ a convolutional neural network that we train using a simple loss function that maximizes the dot product between the class embeddings and the L2 normalized image features. If image retrieval is not the only application of interest, but classification is relevant as well, this can be accounted for by additionally integrating a classification objective on top of the learned semantic embeddings. Now, let's return to our panda example from the beginning. Using this as a query image, content-based image retrieval based on features learned for classification will quickly return visually similar matches from other classes, such as monkeys and bears. With our semantic embeddings, however, we will first retrieve all images of the giant panda and then continue with images of the lesser panda, which is the most related concept in our taxonomy. This works similarly well for a query image of a chimpanzee. While classification-based features are prone to the usual mistake of returning images of humans as meshes for this query, our semantic embeddings result in images of other chimpanzees first and then continue with images of other animals, but no humans, since these are in a completely different branch of the taxonomy. More information and source code are available online at github.com slash cvjena slash semantic minus embeddings.